Hey everybody, it's Brian from iSpring, and today I'm going to show you a few ways to structure a PowerPoint presentation. The first way is to combine your slides into sections. I'm just going to right click and add a new section right here, and now I can right click again and rename it. If necessary, you can move sections up and down right here. It's really easy to keep track of your sections by collapsing and expanding them with this arrow. Then keep scrolling down your slides and add as many sections as you want. Another handy way to see all your slides and sections is to go to the View tab and click Slide Sorter. To see more details, you can use the Outline view. This view doesn't show sections, but you can see the title and main text for each slide and quickly edit it. Now let me show you how to add a table of contents. I'm going to right click and collapse everything in the list. And I'm going to hit Ctrl A and Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy all the titles of all the slides, and now I'm going to switch back to normal view, go back up to the top, right click and insert a new slide right here, and then select all the objects on it and delete them. Now I can just hit Ctrl V on my keyboard to paste the table of contents. Obviously, you're going to want to resize this text box to fit the slide and add a background, but this is the easiest way to put all the slide titles here. Now you can go through and select the titles one by one and right click and add a hyperlink to each one. Just select Place in this document and the appropriate slide for each one. Now I'll show you how to add a home button to each slide. If you're using a handy dandy iSpring template like this, it's already got a Table of Contents button that you can use, but otherwise you're going to want to go over here to the Slide Master view. I'll go up and click the first slide, and then go to Insert, and Shapes, and then scroll down and add a Home button. After I add it to the slide, the Action window will open up, and in this case I can keep it linked to the first slide. Now when I go back here to the Normal view, I can see that the button is on all the slides. OK, now this is all fine and dandy, but there's a much easier way to manage your presentation structure over here on the iSpring Suite tab. iSpring Suite is a PowerPoint add-in that lets you turn regular PowerPoint presentations into online e-learning courses with a bunch of extra cool stuff. You can get a free trial by clicking the link in the description. Let's open up the Presentation Explorer and have a look. It's super easy to create sections and subsections by promoting and demoting slides with these buttons. I'll show you in a sec how that'll come in handy for the viewer. But first, I also want to mention slide branching, which you can use to create a choose your own adventure feel that'll automatically take viewers to different sections of the presentation. Okay, now I want you to remember this little structure I put right here, because now I'm going to save and close and go over to the Publish window to show you what it looks like. From this window, you can publish your presentation in online format to a bunch of different destinations. You can also package the presentation in an interactive player right over here. The Universal Player is great for outlines, so let's go ahead and customize it. As you can see, here's the outline right over here, and there's the structure I set up in the Presentation Explorer. Keep in mind that this player is highly customizable, so don't hesitate to play around with the settings, or check out the Universal Player tutorials to see all your options. When you're satisfied, just click Apply and Close, and then you're ready to publish. Thanks for watching! Now it's your turn to create a PowerPoint based course with easy navigation. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.